We need housing so that people who are experiencing homelessness have that next rung on the ladder to pull themselves out. Right now, we've got a homeless population in our city that they are working. You know, they are working, but they aren't making enough money to be able to bridge that gap between whatever constitutes the cost of a shelter and the cost of the deepest affordable housing we have in the city. It's just too big of a leap. And so we, collectively, we're perpetually keeping them as homeless. You know, and not only is that the wrong decision, it's, it's immoral. Again, I believe housing is a right. Everybody deserves that safe place. Uh, it's also financially really dumb because it costs about three times as much. It costs three times as much to have a person on the street cycling through shelters, hospital stays, and sometimes jail than it does just to give them a home. And so if we have that ability to produce that deeply affordable housing, to give them that next rung on the ladder, we absolutely should do it. Get involved. You know, we need to be welcoming people to the city of Minneapolis. Uh, we need to be recognizing that nobody is invisible. Uh, if, you're un, if you're undocumented, you are not invisible. You are a neighbor, you are a friend, uh, you're a family member. If you're experiencing homelessness, you are not invisible. You are a neighbor, you are a friend. Uh, and even if you're coming in from out of town uh, and you decide to move here, you know, you are, you're welcome. Uh, and there's a whole lot of work that I think we as a city can do to kind of be that beacon of hope and inclusivity, uh, an example for the rest of the country. That's where I think that Hope Community Church and other groups of, of similar mindset should be, should be pushing the hardest. That's where we need to push forward.